Hey, Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. And what we're checking out this time is a sharpening stone. This is the Suihiro uh, Serac series. It's their combo stone, and it's a 1,000 grit or 1K slash 3,000 grit or 3K stone. And so it comes in this packaging, and so they've got the stuff you can take off of there, some cardboard and some labeling. We'll get rid of that. It does come with, um, they call it a Naguda, but it's really not. It, it's just a, a cleaning stone, so it's an unknown grid. It's definitely more coarse than what comes on either side of this stone. And so it's primarily meant to be used just to dress the surface and clean off swarf. And if it loads up a little bit on you, it's not for flattening. Um, if you do use it, go ahead and you know rinse the stone off really well so you don't get that other unknown grit on there to contaminate what you're trying to do uh, from a refinement standpoint. But I, I did use it just to tweak it and play around a little bit, and it works pretty good for that. So some people like to use these, some people just chuck them and don't use them. Um, so let's take a look. This is a well thought out package. It's a nice package. And so it comes with a built-in stone holder. And like I said, it's intelligently thought out. So you've got a uh, cover on it. You could take this whole package and, uh, you know, um, put rubber bands around it securely. And you got a great transportable package. Um, it's, so we'll take the cover off here, get rid of that. So uh, it's got a two-sided stone. And it's either, each side is glued to a plastic uh, carrier. And... Then it goes into this base, which has really grippy bottom feet on it. Uh, you could supplement that if they slide a little on you with a damp paper towel, but I found it to be quite grippy on the, my Formica countertop. It worked very, very well. So this will hold some runoff and water. Um, and when you're done, you clean it out, dry it out, and you're good to go. The cool thing is the carrier has holes in each side for ventilation, so uh, when you're done and you want to dry it off, you just set it in there, You know, leave the top off, and the ventilation will help. Uh, air out that bottom side and get some air flowing. I would still rotate it every so often to get the sides to dry out more evenly, but it's just a, and it's also when it runs off, the liquid goes down in there as well. So it's just a nicely thought out package. Um, again, built in stone holder that's really secure, that adds to the value of this package. Um, you know, very self contained unit. Uh, the grid on this, again, is a 1,000 grid on one side and a 3,000 grid on the other. If I were you, the labeling on here is, is not very heavy, plus it fades very, very fast. So I would go ahead and get some Sharpie and write down the grit level on each end so you know what you got. Otherwise, you're going to go, which one is which? And sometimes when you get higher grit, it's a little hard to tell. Um, I forgot to check the actual dimensions of the stones on the site, but they're probably around 75 millimeter by 200 or so by... I'm going to guess maybe about 20 millimeters thick-ish. Um, the 3,000 grit's a little bit wide, longer than the 1,000 grit. Just a little bit of difference there on how they're cut. Um, so you've got a you know, pretty good thickness of stone there to work with. It's um, Again, it's a high-value option. In terms of feel, I've used um, the 320, the 1K, and the 6K out of the Cerax series, and I've also used their other combo stone, which is the 280, I believe, 1.5K, and um, they all have a great feel. They, they're medium hardness uh, on the scale, in my opinion. I'm not a super experienced sharpener, but by now I've tried quite a few. So medium hardness, they um, cut pretty darn fast, and they load up a little if you don't saturate them well. For me, I did about a 10-minute full-on soak in a tub, and that seemed to work really, really well. If you undersaturate them and they're a little thirsty, they're going to load up faster. But again, you can alleviate that by soaking them well and then keeping them wet while you're working on them. The, um, the feel is good. The feedback is good. They Again, they, they cut fast. They're pretty aggressive, and I tried a number of steels on them, and it seemed to cut everything pretty well. I didn't do HAP 40 or... ZDP 189 or anything like that, but did some powdered metallurgy steels like R2. I did uh, Konosuke, their NT series. Uh, I did some regular stainless steel, some carbon steels. I cut them all really well. And um, again, it's just a good feel. They're good stones. The 1K will do enough lifting for most purposes and definitely um, let you resharpen knives and go down a little bit to get a new edge on them. If you're going to do some heavy lifting, I would recommend you supplement this with a coarse stone. So this would make a great starter set for someone. Uh, get If you want to go you know, lower price, get this. It's an excellent value. Get the Chef Knives to Go 140 diamond plate for flattening. 
and dressing. And if you want later on, you could add, you know, 220, 320, 400 grit stone for the bottom end and have a really nice set. So this will do some great work for you. So um, I was very impressed with it. Again, excellent package, portable, built-in stone holder, save you money. Just a nice set. So there you have the, uh, put the label back on here just so we can see it, the Suihiro Serax uh, 1K, 3K combo stone.